Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And hey, we got a second episode this week. First time we've done that in quite a long time. It's, but hey, it's, what are we, three months till, not less than three months maybe till draft time. So, well, we do a mock draft. We haven't really done a real mock draft yet this year. So we just got a bunch of people. We posted it up on Instagram and people that follow us there joined in here. So we'll see how many we got a good mock drafts are always hard on ESPN this time of year to get like real people in here to do it. But we want to try to get some kind of feel for a real draft. So hopefully most people are here. There's going to be a couple auto picks, I'm sure. But be a, get a good feel for how the draft is going to work. Because like we said on the last episode, early picks are relatively easy. You have a you're just choosing between good players. It's I'm I'm more curious about third, fourth, fifth rounds, how that goes, what kind of players we can get. So it'll be interesting. We've done a 10 teamer this one just cuz quicker, quicker on the draft. So I have 7th pick. Jeff, you're at the 10th. So how do you feel about the 10th spot? You like that? This time or this year right now? There we go. I don't I have sound going. That's a great sound though, isn't it? It is a great sound. I love that. Yeah, so draft I, started. So. I don't know what to expect in, with the 10th, especially with, I mean, we don't know how people are going to draft yet, right? Because this is going to be going off ESPN ranks, which are a little different than obviously ours and, and other ones that you see around. So, you know, it'll be kind of interesting. Like if I was in the top five, I you know, you, you know where you're going. Right now, you'd be going one of those coveted running back spots. You could throw in a, you know, a DeAndre Hopkins or something. So I thought 10 would be a little more fun for me. Yep. This is, um, yeah, we're just waiting. We'll wait on the first guy for a bit. Who knows? It's a, these mocks sometimes. We'll, we'll try to get through the whole thing on the podcast just to see how a draft's actually going, but you never know. So I'm at seven, and I'm thinking, what, at the seventh pick? Man, I really hope I get a running back here. Uh, but I will take, okay, this is actually, I did, I did my first mock the other day, and I'll tell you, like, remember I said last week, I'm starting to think you need one of those wide receivers almost early in one of the first two rounds. I felt like I did after that draft. Like I got one of them. I can't I think I went must have gone in the second or third round. I got a um oh because I had the I had the first pick actually, so I got the the second, third turn, and I, so I got TY Hilton was my number one. After and then I went running back for my so two of my top three running backs, and I wasn't a fan of it. I feel like there is more running backs than those wide receivers, and yeah, it's kind of I don't think at seven I'm gonna pick a wide receiver but if i'm sitting there at seven and six of the top running backs are gone i don't know i might even it might cross my mind i'm not sure the first pick finally went off the board and it is saquon yep so yeah we got some people in there asking are you the fantasy prophet i said i am jeff so you son of a bitch (laughs) so we got the second pick up it looks like this one might end up going. Who knows what they'll go here. So Saquon's number one. Saquon's going to go one in most, but man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. I kind of, you know, I'm a girly fan, but I don't know if I pick him there yet either. But Saquon, Zeke, McCaffrey, Gurley, Kamara. I don't think you go wrong with any of those guys. I think you're in good shape if you pick whichever one you pick. So second pick went off the board. We make McCaffrey. McCaffrey, then Zeke, two, three. So, yeah, that's McCaffrey's getting some love. And then <clears throat> Alvin Kamara went four. So it's going about as you'd expect. So now we're sitting here, two more picks before I come up at seven. The top player on ESPN's board is Gurley. Oh, there went Gurley. So he went five. I would have picked Gurley at seven all day. And then Le'Veon Bell went number six. So I'm sitting here. <laughs> this is about where I was wondering if I ended up here, would I go wide receiver or... Would I go Melvin Gordon? That's basically what it comes down to. Do you go Melvin Gordon? Do you go wide receiver? You know what? I think this is the way to go. I'm, I'm not like, because I think I can come around and get a, a good number one running back in the second round. I put DeAndre Hopkins. I, I, I'm, not the, I'm not as big of a Melvin Gordon fan as some people are. So that's why I decided to pass him up. So after I picked Hopkins, Gordon did go off the board. Then Devontae Adams went off the board. So Jeff has two picks. So yeah, I already don't like that. <laughs> see, it's it's uh it's interesting, isn't it? It's fun to do this because this is uh 
what do you do here? Yeah, this is a uh, because there is a lot of wide receivers I like, and I mean, there's good running backs. So don't feel, get me you, wrong. You kind of feel like you got to go one of each, almost. I, I mean, I do kind of feel like I have to. The question is, where do I go first? I'm. <clears throat> it's, it's rough, man. We, we got to do some more. We got to do some mocks. This is a. I'm like thinking about my. Uh, we'll my be doing a lot more of these well. as we go here because this is this is honestly I think this is the best way to figure out what you would do in a draft and how you start to like players is actually getting in a draft and drafting them. It's one thing like we we rank these guys all the time and we say we'll rank this guy ahead of it, but once you get in the draft, I mean, it should be pretty clear you have your ranks, Jeff. Right? Yeah, I do not have them in front. Of me. <laughs> it's it's no, not I mean, that easy. It's not as easy when you're in the draft. Yeah, I'm more in my head. I'm thinking if I actually went two wide receivers because I really, really like them. Michael Thomas and Julio. How 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 bad would that screw me up? There's some really good receivers out here. Yeah. There's a lot. There, there is still really good receivers. Right, I think I have but, to get one. Okay, so if you don't get them now, yeah. So not technically who I want my number one, but I feel very safe. So I went and got James Conner to be my number one. You know he's going to be the guy in Pittsburgh. Even if he doesn't do as well as he did last year, I'll be safe. And now I can pick between one of the very good wide receivers. Some good ones. And it's Michael Thomas, Julio, Antonio Brown, and Odell, and Juju. I mean, I love so many of these guys. But if I went, going to come back to you. I know. Obviously. None of them will. If I went by my rankings, which I'm going to stick true to, the safest one here uh, of these guys, I'm going to go with Julio. So Julio, I'm just, I'm, I'm safe here. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. It's a um, good good start to your team. It's just now with wait and see how long that wait. If you like it, it's going to be a long, long wait. For it, it will. I'm just going to watch everyone kind of go and off see the board. Who, see who your second running back can be. I'm going to have the same pro- trouble because I'm went. i going to go wide receiver running back here too. But So after you picked Connor and Julio, David Johnson went off the board. Michael Thomas went off the board. I'm on the clock. So this is where I have to go running back, but I'm okay with waiting because I got DeAndre Hopkins, who's number one, but it would have probably worked out either way. I could have gone Gordon and gotten one of these great receivers. So it would have worked out, but I still think you got to go one and one. You got to get one of each. And I will probably. Are you going to go running back or wide receiver? I'm, okay. This is where I'm looking because there are some really good wide receivers out there. If, if I'm you, I'm going wide receiver. I'm thinking about it because I think I like some of these. I'm kind of curious how this little strategy would work because there's some good running backs. I don't know how long I want to wait. I mean, the question really, I mean, I I assume Joe Mixon will be gone if he's really the guy you have your heart set on. That's the one, but okay. I like, I went Odell. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a Deandre Hopkins, Odell pairing and see how wide receiver going to zero running back strategy works. I'm kind of curious. I'm not saying this is actually how I would hundred percent do it in the season. I, I have a hard time on a real draft passing up a running back. But there's been so many of them and so many that come on at the end of the year. It's well, I'm I'm wondering, too, depending on how other people draft. I mean, you could very well get lucky and end up with, you know, like a, a Leonard Fournette, Aaron Jones combo. You I know, see. It's I like not I the like worst Aaron thing Jones. in the world. I saw in one of the drafts I did the other day, Aaron Jones went in the fourth. Yeah. So Fournette just went off the board after I picked Odell and went Antonio Brown, Fournette, then Juju. So, I mean, I have a little bit to wait before my pick, but there's Joe Mixon, Dalvin Cook, Nick Chubb, Devontae Freeman, Sony Michelle, Aaron Jones, Derrick Henry, if you like him. There's some guys there yet. Even further out, now Mixon just went. After, okay, Kelsey went, Mixon went, Keenan Allen went, Dalvin Cook went. My, my The question here is when is someone going to buck the system and go Kelsey or – uh, oh, I'm sorry. Kelsey did yep. already go. He just went three times ago. But uh, Mahomes will be the other one. The number one guy that really killed it last year. Yep. I think his rank technically on here is 45, but I have a hard time believing people are going to wait that long. Also, the other day in the draft I did, I picked Lamar Miller at some point. Does that sound terrible? Yeah, it does sound terrible. He was an eighth rounder. but okay, so and, I mean, he's <laughs> fine. It's just... So there goes Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz went in the, in the third as well. So second tight end off the board after Dalvin Cook. Um, Zach Ertz, T.Y. Hilton, Devontae Freeman. I got two more picks before I'm up. I'm still going to feel okay with one of my running backs as my number one. Not not great, but um, it's it's fine. It's it could work out. We'll see. <laughs> it, could, it could work out. <laughs> but I think I I love my receivers. I have if it goes well. I mean, I'm going to be in really good shape, and I can just find running backs throughout the season and make it work. Mm-hmm. 
so this one we got I had two guys to wait here. Nick Chubb's gonna go in these two picks. I'd like I'd take Nick Chubb in a heartbeat, and I just easy pick for me, Nick Chubb. But also, you know, I've been a big Aaron Jones believer, and I'm gonna go Aaron Jones if he's available too. I would pick Nick Chubb, I'd pick Aaron Jones. One of those two would be fine with. <sighs> and Thielen went, Mike Evans went, so I'm gonna pick Nick Chubb as my number one running back, and I'm I'm good with that. I'm actually very I'm very okay with Nick Chubb as my number one. And the, you know what would be great for me? It probably won't happen, but there are – no, shoot, because you're picking. Two, four. <laughs> there's five picks before me. There's six picks – before yeah, five picks before me. So there's a guy I'd like to get, but you'll take it. Josh Jacobs just went. Wow. So Kittle went in the third two. Josh Jacobs goes early. I, I think people are reaching a little bit, but, hey, there's the rookie running back love that happens every single year. People like that. I'm not going to fault it. You're, you're taking a chance, but – you could be you could get something really good out of it. So Jeff's up with two picks. Okay, I. So you get you win, man. The, the, so this early on, you win Connor and Julio. Yeah, and uh, they're both very very safe. I didn't I didn't go I didn't reach for that that upside. Oh wow, I, mean, they're both very, I, very I like some of these guys. AJ yeah. Green. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I'm gonna go AJ Green because once again, I, I think that he's you know. If you're getting AJ at Green the at the end of, end of the career. third, end of the third round, beginning of the fourth round, that's awesome. Right. So he's my number two wide receiver, which I love. And, I might as well just go ahead and take him. And then I have to go back to running back because Sony, Sony Michelle. I just yeah, and this is where it becomes very difficult because there is a lot of guys down here I I really, really like. And it's more about how they're gonna be used, which we aren't gonna know right away, right? You can make a very good argument for Sony Michelle, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, even Marlon Mack, and the guy hanging out there is Damian Williams, who He's I there too. absolutely yeah. love, but I know that they have Hyde, right? <laughs> is he going to cut into it? Because if not, that would be a slam dunk for me. I would take yeah. Damian Williams all day. But can I do that with Michelle Jones and Mac up there? It depends if you like him more because he probably won't last till you pick again. So sometimes you got to weigh yeah. that because he's not going to be there when you come back. Most likely. It would be very, very difficult for him to make it all the way back around for you. He, Yeah, I don't think he would. But there's a lot of guys here. There's actually a lot of decent players yet. Yeah, and I, I mean, I really do like all of these. No matter what no, you I'm, get here, I'm going to like your team so far. I think. I, I, uh, I really, uh, damn it, I'm going to kick myself for not going Damian Williams, but I'm actually going to go. Um, I'm going to go Sonny Michelle. I think he's actually underrated. I, I really, really like him, and I think with uh, Tom Brady throwing a little bit less and not throwing the deep ball quite as well as he was, especially during the year, uh, he was dominant when he was healthy. So. I feel really good about Sony Michelle. I, I like your team so far. I really do think James Conner, Sony Michelle, Julio, and AJ Green is a solid there's team. Not a whole lot to hate at yeah. that point. You know I mean, but this is where it'll get really interesting after the fact is how can you add depth to that? Yeah. Right. So after you picked Sony Michelle, Derek Henry went off the board. One more pick before I'm up. And I'll be fine. Gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna get somebody good. Aaron Jones. And it's gonna be Aaron there. Jones. He's my guy. And I like that. I yeah. you know what? I like I went wide receiver, wide receiver. And then I still end up with Nick Chubb, Aaron Jones. I, I'm really okay with that. I yeah. really like that. Here's a question. Where actually let me find out where he's ranked currently. But Jones? <laughs> Hunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. That's where I know. And I, you don't have to worry about it in this you no. know, situation, as, really. As but at look, the same time, if you really did draft him, you'd be thinking, how do I yep. get Hunt in order to handcuff it so I don't get screwed <laughs> at the end? And he is currently 167. Okay, so I can get him. So the yeah. draft's moving now after I pick Jones. Amari Cooper went. Tyreek Hill, which, hey, take your chance. Sure. Um, that wasn't an auto pick either. That was a legit <laughs> pick. But, hey, if it were, he could be great. Then Julian Edelman, Stephon Diggs, who's going lower this year than he did last year. Diggs is going lower, I think, this year. And he's just as good. I like I like Diggs in the fourth. Robert Woods, Brandon Cooks, Cooper Cup, just went all Rams receivers there. Philip Lindsay kind of gets forgotten. He just went off the board. I think that, that is a very solid pick. I actually really love the Cooper Cup pick too. This shows a lot, a lot though the wide, the running back depth because you're getting into the fifth, and Damian Williams is sitting there. So Tariq, uh, Alshon, well, Carry on Johnson went. I love oh, this. Please, Car- <laughs> Carry on Johnson went. Alshon Jeffrey went. Tariq Cohen went. James White went. I'm on the clock to pick Damian Williams. Oh, you son as of a, my you third. sob. Damian Williams is my third. I love it. Oh, I love that. I went wide receiver, wide receiver, and end up with Aaron Jones, Nick Chubb. Damien Williams, I love that. I literally thought love maybe it. he was actually going to get to me. I love it. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think Kenny Galladay went next. I, I think, man, I love that. I really like the running back depth right now. I think I, I couldn't go wide receiver, wide receiver and feel good. Maybe not always, but it's there. So after Galladay, Chris Godwin went. So he's in the, Chris Godwin's now a fifth round guy. 
but it shows. I feel like the wide receivers drop off. Okay, so Chris Godwin's going ahead of Sammy Watkins, Tyler Lockett. I Calvin Ridley, I'm not going to quite do that. No, and okay, this is where my head's at. I, I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes in the fifth. I know. I, I could go. I could go Mahomes. This I is where I'm go, okay and, with and it. tight end. I'm I'm not going to go tight end yet, but I the next three guys I really love, so I'm hoping that they stick around. I mean, Ingram, Henry, or Howard, I'd be ecstatic mm-hmm. about if I got them a little bit later. Mahomes, I'm giving consideration to. Running back is a position that after this really falls after depth, so I think I'm, I am got to go one more guy that I like, which is Mark Ingram. Now that he is in Baltimore, he's going to be the mm-hmm. guy. I think he's just incredibly safe to has, have as my number three. Um, makes me feel much more... Uh, safe about my depth so i'm gonna take him and then here i feel like this is a free pick i can just go whatever flows my boat and the problem is there's so many good wide receivers still and i do have to wait so long but i think there's gonna be good guys later on as well so i'm gonna actually go against what i usually do and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go mahomes but i think mahomes in the six is all that's i think it's a great pick and i really I, do I just and locked and loaded i don't have to worry about it so even now there should be there should start to be a little bit more of a run because I guarantee someone will really like luck or something. And then you'll have to say, I'm really gonna go after one of these top four, or I'm gonna and I assume you're just gonna wait. But I mean I it, don't know. Like Rogers and Luck really interest me right here. They really right. do. Because it's, right now it, the this where is, you're falling right now, yeah. you're taking either a safe guy that's a, a middle guy. I, I would yep. almost rather take a guy I know I can plug and play and then wait on a wide receiver, grab two really high upside guys, and and hopefully one will turn out. Yeah, this is where because this is where the, the talent at the other position is just kind of like, Ew. not sure how I like it. But I like Rogers' luck. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it yet, but which player would I get? I have three running backs already. And this is, oh, God. And we should, I don't know if we said this already, but this is a two running back, two wide receiver, one flex league. So obviously that does play into it. I made my pick. Evan Ingram. No. You didn't. Oh, you, oh, you're coming up. I'm so no, sorry. No, no, I picked, I picked before Evan Ingram. You pick Sammy Watkins. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot I like about this and a lot I want to hit you in the face for. Oh man, this is three years in a row. I'm well, buying into this if, crap. If Tyreek is not there. You are. This is the golden ticket, right? He this gets is, injured like he has every other year. You're, you're whatever. I feel but if good he with, doesn't, I feel good taking a chance at this spot. And I thought about the wide receiver, the quarterbacks. I thought about Aaron Rodgers, but I think I can wait. And maybe I would see. I, I normally wait, but I like some of the. I like like Lock and Rodgers still there. It's very interesting to me. I think I. St- I think I still will wait though. But you know, I'm going to take that chance on Sammy Watkins. I thought about Tyler Lockett, but I think. Sammy, I just still something about Sammy Watkins. I can't get over him yet. <laughs> so after I picked Sammy, Evan Ingram went. Aaron Rodgers did get drafted. Then Hunter Henry, DJ Moore, Tyler Lockett went. OJ Howard went. Allen Robinson went. So tight ends really get decimated in this round. And that's which, when that happens, I'm waiting. I, I, I wait. I wait personally. I mean, I don't like anybody. Yeah, but there are. I got. I got one guy left. I was gonna say there's like two guys left, which. I'm, because after that, it is. Whew. So I don't know. I'll see who's there when it, when it comes to me. But Sammy, I know people are going to love that Sammy Watkins pick. But I, it, it, I, I think it's a good upside pick. You right? buy. It's not like I'm buying into the hype. There's no hype. We're I'm just like it's. I'm, I'm buying into some potential that if he's the number one on a Patrick Mahomes offense, I mean, Sammy Watkins was drafted third in the in the draft for a reason at one point. He does have talent. I don't know if he can all put it together, but hey, again, one more time, Sammy. We'll try it one more year. Okay, think about it this way too. Uh, I believe me, I am not hopeful that he's going to stay healthy at all. I really am not. But if you're going to get a, well, what he's going to be? He's going to be a wide receiver one on the most potent offense in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. And you're getting him at pick sixty-four. Yeah, not a whole lot to hate about that. Miles Sanders just went off the board. Deshaun Watson. So Miles Sanders has now become well ahead of Jordan Howard in these ranks, in these drafts. Jordan Howard's an afterthought now. Which was we just talked a few weeks ago. I put Sanders up there. It was more of a I think he's gonna overtake him, but now people people seem to think he's overtaken him already. So 
All right, so Deshaun Watson and Larry Fitzgerald, Tyler Boyd went. So this is a spot where I don't love the picks. And, I mean, there's still a lot of good quarterbacks. I really like Andrew Luck, though. Oh, I love – yeah, I really do like the Luck pick here. I don't like – okay, there's a lot of the same guys out there. Calvin Ridley's – I like Calvin Ridley. That's an interesting one with some potential there. Mike Williams, obviously. Yeah, he's a good one, Some potential there. I mean, Sterling Shepard is solid here, but – if I'm being honest, I think, yeah, I mean, you could definitely make a, a, you know what? a point for one of the wide receivers. This is what I'll do. I'll take a chance. I'll get some potential. And I'll go Darius Geis <laughs> just because we don't know what this is going to be yet. Peterson's obviously still there. Geis will get some work. Peterson, can he last another season? Who knows? But I would take, I might, this is, might be a level where I take a chance. Take a Geis. Andrew Luck was really considering he went next after me anyway. Then Mike Williams went. And Jeff's up. So maybe he'll pick Ridley. <clears throat> I like Ridley a lot. Actually, uh, I do like Ridley. Oh, my gosh. I was about to be like, but I like Mike Williams more, but he just got picked right <laughs> before me. I'm a giant idiot. Um, And you have uh, Julio, so why not have both? <laughs> <laughs> right. It does give you a little protection. I mean, out of the wide receivers left, he is, I think, Ridley now is by far the best one. There's Ridley. In the current ESPN ranks, there's Ridley's out here. Robbie Anderson, Marvin Jones, Sterling Shepard, D.D. Westbrook, then Corey Davis, Will Fuller, Dante Pettis. So, yeah, it's uh, Ridley's I mean, he's solid. looking better and better. Because you look at the running back situation as well, and you're really grasping at straws. Um, you're either taking. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're taking. This is like the Lamar Miller level, which is just terrible. Or Kenyon Drake. Yeah. Or you're taking a San Francisco running back, which you don't feel good about. There is nothing <clears> to feel good about right here. No, I'm, I'm going to take Ridley. Um, it's actually nice because he won't be in my starting rotation right away. So if something does happen to Julio, he can step in and be the number one. I can still play them both together because they both can catch touchdowns. So I, I like that. Um, I'd rather have Mike Williams there, but the, Kelvin Ridley. The running back, so it's ugly. It gets ugly at some point. It's good for a long time. Well, this is my question. I can either wait a very long time. I could just punt tight end, find a guy later on, which is not a bad way to go right now. I probably should in order to take – I mean, I don't really like Kenyon Drake or Miller that much, but they are the last guaranteed – I mean, McCoy is there too, but they're the last guaranteed starters, which would give me more depth. How much will I actually use them? How much do I like actually – care about them that is a good point <laughs> <laughs> they just i'm just they, not excited they, about them i don't want they, to pick them but i feel me. like i know but i i really i think i i have to it would be the smart way to go so i am gonna go i'm gonna go kenyan drake and i think that's depth, the and, then, yeah. and then i'm good i can pick whoever i want from here i know i would i'd be okay with that one that's and there's I'm up here in a minute, and I don't know what to do. There went Matt Ryan just went. One more pick before I'm up. So this is what I'm kind of looking at and thinking here. So I'm up after Bears defense. Oof, too early there, buddy. Um, <laughs> this would have been Jacksonville defense last year at this spot. You can't hundred. You can't. You can't guarantee it. So don't draft a defense this early. So I could go. I have four running backs right now. I have three wide receivers. I'm kind of looking at a wide receiver. Quarterbacks are now to the point where. I like Baker Mayfield, but I'm okay with waiting. I don't really want one of the tight ends right now. I'm looking at wide receivers, and this is kind of my thoughts, is Corey Davis is there, and it's just he's interested. This is his third year. Hey, with third-year wide receiver breakout, maybe it's going to happen. Or even go down slightly, Nikhil Harry for the Patriots. Well, that could be interesting, but you know what? I am going to go to Corey Davis, and again, this is I'm taking a chance on some of these players on this team. Sammy Watkins, Corey Davis. There's some chances being taken there. Hey, this could this could be a big. This team could really turn out well, or it could just nothing happens on the bench. But I, I'll take uh, Corey Davis and as my what fourth receiver, and maybe we get that third year wide receiver breakout, which I'm still kind of banking on. I just don't. I think Corey Davis can do it. I just don't know if Marcus Mariota can do it for him. It, that Mariota is the one that kind of uh, worries me. So, oh, there went Kareem Hunt. I was hoping to snatch him up a little bit later there in the next round. Grab your handcuff. But no, so he went. Robbie Anderson went. Lamar Miller did go there. 
There went Baker Mayfield finally. But that's that's not bad for Baker Mayfield. Eighth round, There's people aren't reaching so much. But one of the reasons I'm waiting is because I really like Russell Wilson, and he's just hanging out down there. And I like Drew Brees. I can get them. I can still get these guys. Yeah, so late. And so we got Ben Roethlisberger's there. Cam Newton's out there. Like, There's a lot of players out there yet that I can wait on quarterback and feel good about it. After you don't get Mahomes. Mahomes, though, in the sixth, I still think that was a good move for you. I would, I would have done that for sure. Yeah, I have I have no issue with that whatsoever. And usually in years past, at least, the number one quarterback usually gets picked up no later than round four. Yeah, so that was a little later in this one. Yeah. And I, I've seen to. it. I've seen it as high as, you know, end of second, third, which kind of changes that dynamic of the whole thing. So you, yeah. you do have to wait for it. So I, I think, you know, part of it is just luck in this one as well. Like my luck, not Andrew luck. <laughs> So, yeah, I, after, I think that's a great one. See, after Baker went off the board, Will Fuller was drafted. Tevin Coleman, which I don't know what to do with San Francisco, but I'm okay with a chance on Coleman at this point in the draft. I just don't know. I don't either. And McKinnon is still hanging out there as well, I believe. Um, but now it's a giant run on there a lot of go. guys I, I personally like. I think Marvin Jones is a great guy to get late. I think he'll, he, he puts up points for you. Sterling Shepard is great, especially without Odell now. Um, I really like that pick. And then, you know, D.D. Westbrook, I'm very lukewarm on. And then Dante Pettis, I think, has a lot of upside. I really like him as well. So I think this point, I like a ton of the wide receivers. If you can just stock up here, I'm about to grab two when it comes around to me after Craig is on the clock currently. Um, yeah. But I, I like so many of them. Who are you looking at right now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't are like, you, I don't what like position this. are you looking at? I don't know. It's literally just the best yeah, of. I mean, I still don't have a quarterback. I still don't have a tight end. But. With what's still out there, I'm okay with waiting. Tight end, I'm still with what's out there, I'm okay with waiting. I have four running backs. I have four receivers. It's kind of like, is there a guy that stands out to me? And the answer is no, there isn't. So that's where I'm, I try to weigh on what should I do here? Do I take some chances? This is a mock draft, so maybe. And I will take a chance, and I'll go into Kill Harry. All right. Is my fifth wide receiver, and maybe – how I don't know. They drafted him early for a reason, right? You think maybe Patriots don't usually go. They drafted Sony Michelle early last year and they used him more than they used their running backs in the past. So we'll we'll see if that works out. So LaShawn McCoy went next, which man, I think two years ago, just think about that. Drafting LaShawn McCoy in the ninth and I'm passing him up in the ninth round. That would have never happened. I, just, <laughs> right. I don't expect anything from that team. Vance McDonald went off the board here. Got a tight end going. Now Jeff is up, and again, are you going to go? Maybe there's like Golden Tate. There's so many wide receivers. There's Geronimo I, Allison. I really, Christian really Kirk, like Cortland Sutton. And the problem is, I, I pretty much, I think I might have to reach here a little bit. <laughs> James Washington. I know. I then those are all guys I'm looking at. Um, Me no, Cole. I'm gonna, whatever. I'm gonna go the highest, and then if people fall to me, they fall to me. If they don't, they don't. But I'm gonna go Geronimo Allison right now. From what we know, he's going to mm-hmm. be the number two in Green Bay. He, he didn't get a fair shot last year, so I'm going to take a, a chance on him. And then I'm actually going to pass up Emmanuel Sanders. I'm going to go Cortland Sutton. I'd do that too. I right? think Over, the yeah. guy is a incredibly talented wide receiver. I really want to see where it goes, and this is practically, you know, it's a free player at this point, really. Yeah, yeah. And the only other thing I could have done, I could have dropped lower and took a real risk high-end guy. I have a few left. And then, um, or I could have gone tight end, which there's really only, I think there's three guys left that I'm halfway interested in, but I think they'll last. So I'm just going to take the risk. And I already know that you're probably looking at two of the three for sure. So I just have to make sure that probably the next round I'll take one tight end just to get it over with. (laughs) That's kind of how I feel about tight ends. Get it over with. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. After you pick Sutton, Jarek McKinnon went. Which, again, I don't know what to do with those guys. I'm just staying away. I don't either. And that's the problem. Even if you did, I mean, you're not going to know. Even if McKinnon and Coleman are the one-two punch, you know, you still have Brita out there. Uh, I I believe that Mostert, Mostert, I still don't know how to say his name, but I believe what I just read that he was actually getting surgery again, so he's not going to be in the uh, equation. But they have so many guys, and I have no idea where McKinnon stands as far as health. So Christian Kirk just wins, so it puts me back on the board. You know, I'm going to go with a fifth running back. 
nothing spectacular here. It's just maybe a guy who can plug and play maybe early for a little bit before he gets overtaken. I'm going to go Jordan Howard just because it's gone the other way in Jordan Howard now where he's completely no one cares about him. Miles Sanders is overtaking him in all the ranks. But that puts Howard way down there in the 10th. I'll take a chance on him in the 10th. And maybe Sanders doesn't overtake him. I still think Sanders will, but hey, it's, it's worth a shot. So after Howard went, Tavius Murray went, Golden Tate went, Kiki QT went. So at this point now, I have five running backs, five receivers. This is where I might start now. I'd look at the tight end, look at the quarterback. I just wanted to get one more player there, but they're still, my God, the quarterbacks are still there for me. Yeah, this is incredible. I can just wait and wait and wait. You're, you're not going to have to even pick. I mean, <laughs> you have Roethlisberger, Breeze, Prescott, Wentz, Wilson, Goff. I mean, all in a row. Yeah. And, and even if that, if it all went sideways on you, you can still just pick up a Jameis Winston or mm-hmm. Phillip Rivers and you'll be fine. So Austin Eckler wins, Rashad Penny, Naheem Hines, Deshaun Jackson, always everyone's favorite fantasy player. God, I, I, I still even I had Deshaun Jackson last year, even after all the times I've said he's just I can't do it. Jared Goff just went. I had Russell Wilson, Drew Brees. I don't know about that. Eric Ebron off the board, Emmanuel Sanders off the board, Delaney Walker off the board, Ben Roethlisberger, Roethlisberger off the board. I will go tight end here. And I'll get David Njoku. Yeah, I knew it. Well, that yep. leaves me with one guy as long as it makes it to me. I think Austin Hooper is the only relevant guy left almost. I would, yeah, I would pick Austin <laughs> Hooper out of these for sure. Yeah. But, you know, there's I actually, actually, I like Chris Herndon too. But there's some guys that I would be okay with is that the a lot worst, of these right? guys. I'd start my season, at least week one, with a lot of these guys down here and just be okay with it. I know, even uh, <laughs> Tyler Eifert. If you hey, I'm risk telling you, no, there's, you know, honestly, these guys, none of these guys have, are great right now, but it, Greg Olson will probably still be out there. Kyle Rudolph, Chris Herndon, Jordan Reed. Eh. But if you're getting Jordan Reed for nothing at the end of the draft, right. shoot, take week one and try him out. I actually might. Trey Burton, Jimmy Graham. At this point, I would really look at all the teams. I'm up. Um, I think I might actually. DK Metcalf went and Marquise Brown went. Well, so let me see more. who I like here. So right now I'm looking for high upside guys. And I actually think, oof. It, you know what? I mean, I, I would love to get one more running back, but I don't really have one I like. So I'm going to take two wide receivers I really, really like um, that I think have huge upside. May, and in the real, if you know, if we're actually going through a season, it would give me a lot of firepower in order to trade if they did go off because I'm pretty stocked right now. I'm going to go James Washington, which is going to be the number two in Pittsburgh if he, you know, has half of the luck that Juju did. Yeah. Um, grabbing those receptions, he'll be phenomenal. And I'm going to go for a guy that I hyped up that is still very far down because we have no idea. So if people call me an idiot, I totally get it. But I'm just going on my hunch. And I'm going to go McCole Hardman. At this point, why not? And he might step in to be that Tyreek Hill role. Um, I don't think he will repeat his numbers. But, you know, if he even if he's just a big, you know, kind of – yeah. High end guy, he could be in the top twenty. It's, I mean, at this point in the draft, it's it's you can take some chances for sure. Yeah, and at Harris this Campbell just went. So this, four of the last five picks have been rookie receivers, and the one that wasn't a rookie receiver is just a second year guy, James Washington, in between them. So people are taking the chances on these wide receivers at this point. And at this point, you might Craig might have one more spot than I do, but I have one bench spot, defense kicker, and then a tight end as well. Yep. I still I'll, I'll be up here in a second. Fill out one of my final two bench spots. I still haven't drafted a quarterback, and I am okay with that. And then defense kicker. So I'm up. Greg when, Zerline just went. Jeez. When are you thinking? Like, do you have a quarterback that you? Oh, like I have a more couple than... I like. There's two of them I like equally, basically. So I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of oh, never mind. Wow, there's a lot of here. So I can't what? believe you're gonna be able to get Russell Wilson at the end of the draft. So this I just went. Bizarre. I went with a uh, Daryl Henderson. The running back from the Rams. Eh, might as well. Hey, if okay, if the girly people are right and I'm wrong, I'm gonna be right at least by getting the backup. <laughs> <laughs> so there went. So there we go. Oh, there's there's a couple. There's some wider quarterbacks. Here oh, we now go. they're going. So Breeze, Prescott, Wentz, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson. Oh, geez, they all went. Okay. Everyone was waiting, and then I finally come up. So then they all went. I got <laughs> screwed, and now I'm out of quarterbacks. You know what I'm gonna do here? You're gonna wait. No. <laughs> I might wait. <coughs> well, I mean, you still have Garoppolo. 
you know what? You still have Winston. Tom Brady. Calling it a day. Tom Brady with Nikhil Harry. Maybe that's the new Tom Brady, Randy Mott. I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. Nah. But, you know, I'm taking Tom Brady. I'll be fine with that. Very safe. And then Rivers went, so the quarterbacks really started going off the board. But I'd be fine with this. I'd still be fine with any of these guys. I would have been fine with a lot of players on here. But and, um, Yeah, and once again, I'm tight end is kind of what it is. So, uh, Hooper, I mean, Hooper's there. Yeah. All the same guys are there that were there the last time around. It hasn't changed. It's just a huge quarterback run. I mean, the last – shoot, what is that? The last um, eight – Eight of the last ten picks, I think, were quarterbacks. That was a little crazy there. They just when they went off the board, they went off the board. So Jeff's on the clock for two picks. Coming down to it here, fourteenth or thirteenth and fourteenth round. Coming down to the end here. These are pretty much your final two position players if you choose to do that. Or you could go defense or could go kicker. Who knows? Actually, no, I'm going to go. <laughs> well, I'm going to go kicker first. I'm going to take yeah, yeah. Casey's kicker, whatever. You know, we say to wait till the end, but you know what? There comes a point like this point right here where you can get the better kicker, better defense. And you, the other players are all the same. Yeah. Where Why not wait? I, I, If there's a defense or kicker I like that much, sometimes I will pick them here. <coughs> and no start way. of the 14th. And here I'm going to take my tight end just to make sure I get a pick between them. And, and I truly don't know which one I could go with. I, I really I almost could care less. I mean, Hooper, Olsen, Rudolph, Herndon, Reed, Burton, Graham. Yeah. I mean, take your pick, really. I'm going to personally go Hooper. I, I like the young guy. He showed me a little more. Maybe he pulls it together. I think he has as good of a chance as anyone. And he has less uh, injury risk than Jordan Reed. So I'm going to go Hooper. Yeah, why not? And I'm fine with it. I'll, I'll have to stream. I already know this. So you picked Hooper. Royce Freeman went off the board. Hey, who, who knows with Royce Freeman? Greg Olson went off the board. So I'll be up. I will. You know, I'll pick. I'll pick Carlos Hyde because I have Damian Williams. I don't know how they're going to use those guys. Get so, your handcuff once yeah. again. Um, Just get Carlos Hyde and see what this. So then it's Moncrief, Crowder, Humphreys. We're going to be going here just to kickers and defenses very soon. But all in all, looking at your team, 10th pick, and you get I – like, I, like I like your team. I think it turned out pretty well. Getting Mahomes, Connor, Michelle, Julio, A.J. Green, like what, the fourth round? Yeah, I think the, the – Mark Ingram is the third. I like that. Yeah, I think that will – that's what it's going to come down to. It's kind of the uh... – it's probably who I'm going to start, but the running back situation, I could possibly get myself into trouble if one of those guys gets hurt or doesn't end up to be anything. But um, I don't know. I, I feel really safe. I feel really good about it. I'm sure there's teams that immediately, add, you know, if I'm going against the starters, I'm, I would think that they have the edge because they have that high end guy. Mine would be Mahomes. But, um, you know, someone that does have a Kamara, Gurley, Saquon, they would scare me a little bit, but I feel relatively good about. So you're up for your final two picks. Right. I picked the Broncos defense yeah. a minute and, ago. And this one, I'm going to go for defense because the bench spot is whatever. They're probably going to be my first one to be cut. <clears throat> this way I get a little bit ahead of everyone, even though I picked up two in a row. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Texans D. Uh, gotta love Clowney and Watt. Why not? Yeah. And then and one more, and I can pick, pick whoever I want. Is there a high high upside guy out there yeah. somewhere? And I'm sure there is that I'm going to completely forget about because I wasn't thinking about it. There could be. I already know you have one in mind. I'm probably. already done. I only got a kicker left. I'm done. I don't even know. There's some guys out there, but, I mean, there's A.J. Brown. Titans oh, receiver. okay. Only be, and once again, eh, this is a little bit of a cheat. I'd probably try to go running back. But um, I'm going to go ahead because this was a, one of my sleeper picks. I'm going to go ahead and go Elbert Wilson from Miami. Yeah, take it. And just because he's Mr. Irrelevant for me, <laughs> might as well throw him on my bench and give him one week. So might as well look. I'm going to look at some of these other teams, just glance through them real quick and see if there's anything that stands out. Anybody did good in this thing. Oh, after I finish up, pick Steven Gaskowski. 
finish up my kicker. So I'm just going to go through. Hey, let's see. I'm going to look at the top team here. Steam, team what? Team Socha. Picked uh, Cam Newton, Saquon. Saquon and Dalvin Cook are nice. With Keenan Allen and Brandon Cooks, OJ Howard, Cooper Cup, Jags D. That's not a bad, that's not a bad team. It's uh, not, not a bad starting squad there for Team Socha. Team Center has uh, Goff at quarterback with uh, McCaffrey and Mixon. I like that. Woods and Lockett. They have Ertz. I like that. Lindsey. But the wide receivers are lacking a little bit there, I would say. But I like the running backs a lot. That can make up for it for sure. That one, the the worst part about that is the, the wide receivers, they do have a little more depth than they have talent because you have Woods, Lockett, uh, then Fuller and Landry. It's going to be very difficult to pick out who you're going to start from week to week. Um, yeah. Not you know not the worst problem you can have, but it is a consideration to to think about. So I'm gonna like a lot of these teams. I feel like right now, Team Cuz gets Baker Mayfield, Zeke, Carry On's their number two. Okay, Carry On, Carry On is number two. Could get a little iffy, but it could work out great. But there's not a lot of running back depth here on this team with Miles Sanders as your three. But I do like. I mean, Hilton and Diggs are solid. Kelsey's good to have. DJ Moore. Uh, this team has some potential. I like having Zeke, but. I feel like they need a little bit more running back depth, but not terrible. Fantasy football Titan. I I really like this one. So yeah, Deshaun <laughs> Watson, Kamara and Freeman are pretty solid. Juju and Edelman. Hunter Henry could be really good. And then um because you have Juju and then you have a ton of guys. You have you have Shepard, you have Emmanuel Sanders, you have Elshon. You so that number two wide receiver spot, you'll be able to fill no problem. And I do. I I think as long as Devontae Freeman is healthy this year, that is a very very solid squad. And he actually took your uh, your post hype uh, uh, idea by taking Ronald Jones really late. I was thinking about it a few times. I thought about Jones a couple times around the yeah, around and this, there. It's never, never he actually the trigger. He actually took two quarterbacks as well. So he has a Russell Wilson. He took Wilson from me there. I was going to get Wilson on his bench, even though he has Deshaun Watson. So teams it was it Zampano or something. Here we go. He picks the. The could be really, really good team who has a lot of question marks, though. Rodgers, quarterback. I don't really feel like there's question marks. Other people think so, maybe. But then Gurley and Fournette, there are a lot of question marks there. But that is potential to be really, really good. But then Adam Thielen and Tyreek Hill. Obviously, Tyreek Hill. Who knows? <laughs> a it giant could be, potential mark. to be really, really good, obviously. And then on the bench, yeah, Kareem Hunt, again, could be really, really good at the end of the year. I think Larry Fitzgerald might be done. I think it is over. I'm picking Larry Fitzgerald in no drafts this year. So this team might be lacking a little bit on the bench right now. but Yeah, it's... I think he just took one too many question yeah. marks for me to really yeah. like it. Team Coleman gets Roethlisberger with Le'Veon Bell. But your number two is James White. And that worries me a little bit because then after it's James White and Latavius Murray's your three, Bar- Barber's your four. Yeah. That slightly worries me. I was slightly. Saying. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> then Antonio Brown, Mike Evans. Those are good group there. And, and Amari Cooper. I like those guys. You're, uh, yeah, you're, you're, but the uh, running backs. Yeah, scare running, me. you definitely need a running back. Uh, King Beast Coast got uh, Andrew Luck, Melvin Gordon. Marlon Mack, I like that. That's pretty, pretty Actually, solid. I really like this. Michael too. Thomas, Kenny Galladay, George Kittle, Chris Carson, Bears D, Greg Zerline. Very good in the starters and the backups. Yeah, yeah, you know, could be. I mean, the fact that he took two defenses as well, I'm not a huge fan of, obviously. But it's a definitely two tight ends. a lot of potential there. I like, I, I kind of like that team. The, the starting, the starting group is, in, I think, might be the most complete and solid um, that we will see. Young Bucks ninety one, the last team you look at. Matt Ryan at quarterback. Yeah, like we've talked about on our quarterback episode. Could be great. Could be mediocre. David Johnson. I think David Johnson is going to have a bounce back, but there's no guarantee. And then Josh Jacobs and Derrick Henry. So there's – and David Montgomery. There is – um, yes, again, a, there's potential there, but it's a very – it's a, this is a team that could go really, really right, but it has a chance, potential to be like just bad if – Devontae Adams is very solid, but Chris Godwin's the number two. I like Chris Godwin, but I don't like Chris Godwin that much. And Mike Williams is the three with Marquise Brown, Paris Campbell. So a lot of potential. But you know, hey, sometimes it works out though. Some years that's a that's the thing. Some years this wins you a championship. Yeah. In other years, you're last place. It's, this is a team just, that people will well, like me. I, I probably hate on it right now. Uh but you it could be completely fine. Yeah. And, and really, 
it's, it's hard to say because I don't – there's not too many parts that are going to be absolutely terrible, you would think. Because even yeah, Josh no, Jacobs, it's not bad. you it's think just, that you're going to get – It's just it could – you can see a potential for that to go bad. But you can oh, see without a, a doubt. I can see it winning a championship. So, I mean, you, you might have just picked a bunch of – I think Devontae Adams will be good no matter what, but every other player on this team does actually have a possibility of just being mediocre at best. Mm-hmm. And that's where you're – I mean, if you do have the 18th hey, ranked some, overall Matt Ryan. Some people take those chances, though. That's how they yeah. win a title every couple of years, and the other years they're no good. But if you look – even on the bench, though, what I like is the consistency of taking risk. If you're going to yeah, do it, yeah, you go all the way. Because he also has uh, Mike Williams, who I love. You have McKinnon, who who knows? Maybe he's a running back one. You have Paris Campbell, who is an – I think is a great weapon for for luck. Uh, this is fine. You know, we'll find out how quickly they incorporate him. Garoppolo. So if Matt Ryan doesn't do well, you have him. Royce Freeman, Lindsey goes down, and now he's the starter. So uh, there's a lot of upside in that. Yep. So, all right. That'll do it. That's a fun little thing to do. I don't, like, love my team. I think it's solid, but it's fun to do that draft and find out how I would think. And before we um, sign off, though, we got uh, Z Coleman 75 on Instagram asking, why is Jeff a prophet if he's never won the brotherhood? And we'll end it there. I hate that league so much. All right. (laughs) That'll do it. We'll talk to you guys next week.